Hello, so today we're going to go through a demo of Eleven Labs, which is the most popular AI voice generator available right now. So to start with, I've generated a script with ChatGPT. So this may be a way of doing a voice generation that you may want to consider using something like ChatGPT to generate the text and then pulling it into Eleven Labs. So let's play around with a few different options. So I'll just copy this sentence. This will speed it up if we're doing something a little bit shorter. So you can see you can go text to speech or you can go speech to speech. So this is quite a good one if you have a bad microphone and you need to upgrade the quality. Um, obviously, you'll be turning it into a different voice, but uh, the quality will improve. So we can select from a bunch of different people here. So I'm just going to go with Adam. You can click the play button and that will give you the preview. Voice settings. So there's a few different things here that you can play around with. So you can see from fastest to exaggerated. I'm going to pull that down to about 20. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave that there. And there is different models available for the AI voice generation. And you can see which languages it will be able to generate on that model. Um, I'm going to stay on version two, but there's a, a few things you can play around with there. Cool, so let's generate that. And it's, it's pretty quick. You know, you do have to wait a little bit, but um, the longer your script is, Welcome to the Introduction to Artificial Intelligence course, where we'll embark on an exciting journey to understand the world of AI. Cool. So the, the longer your text, the, the longer it will take to generate. But you can see that wasn't very long. Um, it was a little bit fast for me, so I might pull this up to here, and then let's try that again. Welcome to the Introduction to Artificial Intelligence course, where we'll embark on an exciting journey to understand the world of AI. Cool, I think that was a little bit better. Um, let's say I don't like the voice and want to do something else, we can play around with some different options. So as I was saying, you can click on the play button. Work while you have the light. You are responsible for the talent that has been entrusted to you. So it'll give you a preview. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. Never mistake motion for action. Okay, so let's say I like that one, the British female. You can see it just it just goes back to the default. So I might pull this up here. So it's not so fast. And then for this, it actually says to go to version one uh, for this specific voice, which is interesting. Uh, yep, so we'll change that. There we go. Welcome to the Introduction to Artificial Intelligence course, where we'll embark on an exciting journey to understand the world of AI. Cool, and then let's say we're happy with that. We can just click on the download button here or here, and that will just give us an MP3 pretty quickly. So you can see how quick that was. And again, obviously, if your script is super long, um, you can see you can go up to 5,000 characters in one go. Or we've just used 136. Um, it's going to take a lot longer to generate and download, but it's, it's still, you know, com compared to video because it's, it's just audio. It's um, a lot quicker. Oh, cool. so let's try speech to speech. Now, if we leave this on here and basically you can drag and drop a recording in here, or you can do your own recording. So I'll do my own recording right now, and then we'll see how it goes. Hi, this is Alex. Welcome to my AI course. Today, it's beautiful weather and I'm currently recording a video. So with that sample audio, let's generate that. Hi, this is Alex. Welcome to my AI course. Today, it's beautiful weather, and I'm currently recording a video. 
So what's really cool about this is you could see there was that pause that I had where I was thinking about what to say next and then I talked about the weather. Um, it actually perfectly aligned with that. It was kind of interesting. I feel like it picked up part of my Australian accent maybe and wasn't so British. But uh, what, what? yeah, I, I think to me what's really cool is the timing seems to align really well with these. So if you're doing something like a recording for for a demo such as the video I'm doing now, if you recorded it with like a bad microphone and then you wanted to upgrade the sound, uh, especially if you didn't have this video on here and it was just the screen, um, you could just put the audio over that video and it would probably work out quite well. The timing should align. So yeah, just, just an inter interesting, um, cool thing to try here. So now I've gone into voice lab where we can create a copy of our own voice. So similar to something like HeyGen, where you can create a video copy of yourself in here, you can clone your voice. So we can click on here, instant voice cloning. You can also like design uh, your own voice or you have this more professional voice cloning option as well. So you'll need to be on a higher end plan. I'm on one of the lower ones. Great, so if I just put my name in there, I can, record some sample audio. Oh, it's actually already got the recording from the previous one, I think. So maybe we can just use that. And I can say something like uh, Australian male from Perth. So I just recorded some additional audio because the original audio that I had up here was not long enough. So I had to do the full 30 seconds, but I've done that now. And now I can go add voice. Cool. And that's generated already. So it's pretty quick. And when I go back to create some voice generation, the option is here for me. So I've got Alex. Hey, that one was the first um, try that I did as well. So now we can go and generate a voice based on this. Welcome to the introduction to artificial intelligence course, where we'll embark on an exciting journey to understand the world of AI. Well, it's done a pretty good job. So 11 labs is by far my favorite voice generator. It just, to me, does a great job of sounding realistic and natural. And again, you can really play around with these things. So if we go to highly unstable, welcome to the introduction to artificial intelligence course, where we'll embark on an exciting journey to understand the world of AI. Yeah. So you can see it sort of changes the sound and makes things go a bit weird. So you don't want to play around with these too much. There is a default there, but yeah, you'll notice sometimes it might be not quite right. So, and you can hover on these information tips to understand what it means by changing them. Welcome to the introduction to artificial intelligence course, where we'll embark on an exciting journey to understand the world of AI. So you can hear that that one was quite a bit slower than the previous ones, uh, because I put that toggle right up here when previously it would start it sort of down here. So yeah, highly encourage you to play around with 11 labs. The pricing is quite generous as well. It's not uh, too expensive. And if you're someone that doesn't necessarily want to like record yourself with a video and you just want to sort of, and maybe you've got, um, presentation slides to go through and you want to add a voice to them, this can potentially um, make things easier, especially if you are using something like ChatGPT to generate the script for those slides. Um, or if you're happy to talk through them, but you want, um, a, a more sort of professional voice or, or a different sounding voice.